Hey y'all, welcome to this video. I'm about to do my lashes and I'm gonna show y'all how I get DIY lash extensions, like a lash extension look with lash trios or individual lashes. A quick rundown of everything that you're gonna need. I like to use lash trios and this just makes the application go by way faster. These are by I Envy. I've used Kiss. I use a lot of brands from the beauty supply and then Ardell as well. For the glue, I'm gonna be using Ardell's Lash Tight Dark Adhesive and this is for individual lashes, exactly what I'm gonna be doing today. Not strip lash glue, but this. And you do need a remover. They make a remover for it. It works okay, but I, use, I recently started using a like real lash extensions remover and I bought this from Amazon. So you just wanna make sure if you don't use the glue, get a remover because nothing takes them off. <laughs> I'm gonna be using some spoolies just to brush through and some tweezers. And my secret is to curl them at the end. So you're gonna need a lash curler. Oh, also you want a mirror. I have this um, iHome mirror. It's like a speaker, Bluetooth, all that, but it has the magnifying one and then a regular one on the other side. So I like to use the magnifying one when I'm doing this. So the first thing that I do is prepare my glue and I like to put some glue in the cover that comes on the lashes. So I have two tweezers. Um, some people like to use the curved ones, but I think I normally just use these, honestly. So next I'm just gonna brush through my lash and I like to work both eyes at the same time. So I'll put one over it on this side and I'll put one and then work them evenly. And that way they're all done at the same time. I used to do one eye at a time and then by the time I finished the first, I was a little tired and didn't want to do the second eye. Okay, so to get started, I like to take a lash off like this. It's gonna look like this. I put the glue on the top because I'm gonna be putting these underneath my lashes. So I want the glue to be on the top. I'm just gonna drag it in the glue to get the glue on the top of the lash. We don't want anything on the bottom or else they're gonna glue our eyes shut. Should look something like that. I like to fan it a little bit just to get it a little bit more tacky or else they'll kind of slowly fall down. I have my mirror like this and I'm gonna be looking down at it so I can see underneath my eye. And I pull my eyelash, my lid up like this and then I'm gonna stick it on the corner. I place the lash right where my hair and skin meet. So I don't want to put it on directly on my skin with this glue. It just burns a little bit. I like the glue to stick to the hairs. I don't like to start mine right at the very corner because I always, I scratch my the corner of my eye like that and I'll scratch it right off. So I start it inward a little bit. Like there's some hair still on the edge. Sometimes you might need to tap it a little bit to get it in place. All right, we got two on. Starting to come together a little bit. Depending on which lash brand you get, the way that they're connected is more fragile than others. And so just be gentle so you don't break them. The curved side is up and I'm gliding it in the glue upwards so the glue is on the top of the lash and you can kind of wipe off the bottom. Now I'm gonna fan it to make it tacky. I know if you've never placed a lash underneath your la eyelashes, it might seem scary. It's not as scary as you may think, and it doesn't hurt or anything. It doesn't hurt me at least. Sometimes you have to like press it onto your skin so the glue actually like spreads on and sticks. One thing that I kind of just figured out since I couldn't get my glue, I have these skinny Q-tips that I got in an eyelash extension kit thing from Amazon. I'll have everything that I'm using linked below. So I'll have that link below. And I just stuck it in there and then put it on my little tray. And then I've been using this to just dab the glue onto the trio. So that was actually way easier. Also, I don't think I mentioned, you wanna use like a good amount of glue, but not too much where it's like clunky and like getting gunked up in your eye, but you want enough so it sticks. I do prefer, hold on. I do prefer to use the black glue. I have clear and you can use clear as well, but the clear crusts up a little bit over time and you can see it uh, more. So I like the black cause it stays black. And my lashes are black, so it works for me. I usually use about two rows of lashes for both of my eyes. So you could get like two applications from a pack, two to three, depending on how big your eye is. 
I'm gonna let these completely dry throughout the day. I normally do it in the morning, like during the daytime, so I don't have to worry about going to sleep with the glue still wet. But I don't wanna get these wet before the glue fully dries just so they'll last the full seven days. I've never had an issue with them lasting past five days. At about five to seven, that's when I'm ready to take them off. Like I'm, they're getting irritating and I just wanna scratch my eye or I don't want anything on my eye. So I usually take them off then or I lost one and so then I just go ahead and take the rest off. To have a chance at making them last the week, just make sure the glue is dry before you get them wet. But then after it's dry and like fully cured, I guess, I get them wet, I wash my face like normal and everything is good. I make sure that, you know, like, especially if you're wearing makeup, you can definitely wash the lash and the water is not going to affect this lash glue. Water doesn't take this lash glue off. That's why you have to have the remover. Which is why I really like this glue. Um, I used to do this technique with hair glue because I really liked using hair glue with my lashes and it worked but every time they would get wet they got re sticky and stuff. For the longest time I just left them like this. This was my last step and I'm done. Sometimes depending on which lash you get some are straighter some are curlier. They never gave like that last little bit to make them look like lash extensions and so I figured out that if I just curl them they make it look like a decurl kind of lash like really curly and I feel like that's what it really needs because if like I'm looking to the side I feel like they're just not giving as much from the front they're cute but once you curl them I promise it's gonna take it to the next level I'm just waiting for them to dry enough so I can curl them this part is a little awkward I'm not even gonna lie I'm trying to like fit them in there but it should be good enough but you want to make sure you get them all in there because sometimes you can curl it in the wrong spot and I've messed up some by doing that so and I'm just gonna place all in there. And I do just like one, two pumps. I'm not doing it hard at all. Ooh, okay. Let me zoom you back in. I usually do it a couple of times. Can you tell the difference? I can't in real life. One is just way more lifted. So that's how I do my lash extensions. This is the finished look. It's definitely a big difference. This is something that I wish I did more consistently every week. I end up doing it like every once in a while, but I wanna get on like a routine. Like on Sunday, I redo my lashes because they just are so cute. All right, so I hope this video was helpful. I shared everything that I know about applying clusters. Uh, the same technique can be applied if you just get the individual ones. The clusters are just faster. Individuals might give you more creativity you know to get really in there you can probably make them a little bit thicker but i hope y'all enjoyed the video and i'll see you on the next one bye